I'm going to go ahead and read this entire book to you real fast, titled The Antichrist, written in 1918 by George W. Carey. Uh, part 1. Primitive Christians, the Essenes, fully realized and taught the great truth that Christ was a substance, an oil or ointment contained especially in the spinal cord, consequently in all parts of the body, as every nerve in the body is directly or indirectly connected with the wonderful river that flows out of Eden, the upper brain, to water the garden. The early Christians knew that the scriptures, whether written in ancient Hebrew or the Greek, were allegories, parables, or fables based on the human body, fearfully and wonderfully made. These adepts knew that the secretion gray matter, creative, that issues secretes from the cerebrum was the source and cause of the physical expression called man, and they knew that the river Jordan was symbolized in the spinal cord, and that the Dead Sea was used to symbolize the sacred plexus at the base of the spinal column where the Jordan spinal cord ends, typifying the entrance of Jordan into the Dead Sea. The thick, oily, and salty substance composing the sacral plexus, caudia equana, tail of the horse, may be likened onto cr crude petroleum, petra, mineral, or salt, and oleum, Latin for oil. And the thinner substance, oil or ointment in the spinal cord, may be compared with coal oil. And when the oil is crucified up and crosses the ida and pingala, two fluid nerves that end in a cross in the medulla oblongata, where it contacts the cerebellum, the cerebellum, Golgotha, the place of the skull. Golgotha is also referenced in the Bible. This fluid is refined as coal oil is refined to produce gasoline, a higher rate of motion that causes the ascension of the airship. Us human beings, we are the airship. Spirit is air. Our bodies are filled with air. So it's, a, it's for ascension. When the oil ointment is crucified, to crucify means to increase in power a thousandfold, not to kill. It remains, it remains two days and a half, the moon's period in a sign, in the tomb, cerebellum. And the third day ascends to the pineal gland that connects the, cere the cerebellum with the optic thalamus, the central eye and the throne of God. That is the chamber overtopped by the hollow hallowed caused by the curb of the cerebrum, the most high of the body, which is the temple of the living God, the living vital substance, which is a precipitation of the breath of life breathed into man. Therefore, the Holy Ghost, ghost or breath. The pineal gland is the pinnacle of the temple. The modus operandi by which, by which the oil of the spinal cord reaches the pineal gland is described in part two. Part two, there is no name under heaven whereby ye may be saved except Jesus Christ did, and then crucified. Correct rendering of the Greek text. And again, it's, there is no name under heaven whereby ye may be saved except Jesus Christ did, and then crucified because it's referring to the body, the human body. Every 28 days and one half, every 28 and one half days when the moon is in the sun, the sign of the zodiac that the sun was in at the place of birth, at the native, that's you, the native. There is a seed or psychophysical germ born in or out of the solar plexus, the manager. And the seed is taken up the nerves or branches of the fumogastric nerve and becomes the fruit of the tree of life or the tree of good and evil. Viz, good if saved and cast upon the waters. Circulation to reach the pineal gland and evil if eaten or consumed in sexual expression on the physical plane or by alcoholic drinks or gluttony that causes ferment, acid, and even alcohol in intestinal tract. Thus, thus, no drunkard can inherit the kingdom of heaven for acids and alcohol cut or chemically split the oil that unites with the mineral salts in the body and thus produces the monthly seed. So you have to you, you have to avoid temptation in order to experience these much higher levels of consciousness that we're about to get into. <clears throat> the cerebellum is a heart shaped and is heart shaped and called the heart in Greek. Thus, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he so is he. The bodily organ that men in their ignorance call heart is termed divider or pump in Greek and Hebrew. Our blood divider is not is not the button that we touch when we think, but it is the upper lobe of the cerebellum that vibrates thought. The lower lobe is the animal moral lobe that governs the animal world. The section of the body below the solar plexus called lower Egypt, natural body, kingdom of earth, Apollyon, the devil, which as most of you should know, lives spelled backwards, Saturn, Saturn governs the bowels, etc. Fire and brimstone, the lake of fire, comes from the fact that sulfur, brimstone, is the prime factor in generating the rate of motion called heat, and overeating develops a surplus of sulfur. The seed born every 28 and one half days, making 13 and 365, that is, in, that, is, that is 13 months, remain two and one half days in Bethlehem, house of bread. Then is carried up the fumo, gas, the fumo or vagus, 
gastric nerve and across the medulla oblongata and enters the cerebellum to remain two and a half days. Thus, when Jesus was about 12, he appeared in the temple teaching the doctors. The age of puberty is about 12. Then the firstborn seed appears and the sensation caused by its vibration tempts the native on the lower plane to do the very thing that slays it, which is fully explained in Genesis by the serpent, sex desire, tempting Adam and Eve, allegorical characters. From Krishna to Moses and Jesus' serpents and pharaohs and he rods have striven to slay the firstborn. From the age of 12 to 30 in the life of Jesus, nothing is recorded. For 12 refers to puberty and 30 or 3 means physical, mental, and spiritual. Body, flesh, or soul. Fluids and spirit, the ego. Breath is translated soul over 500 times in the Bible. Therefore, soul is precipitated air, spirit, which may be lost in physical desire and expression, waste or sin or fall short, or saved by regeneration. Read Matthew 17, 28, also first apostle of John 3 through 9. So at the age of 30, Jesus the seed began to preach to the body, soul, and spirit. And as the seed was or is descending the spinal cord, the substance, the substance of which is symbolized by formula of characters, I period, O period, H period, N period, as we symbolize water by H2O. It was baptized of John, not by John. Synonyms, Saul, John, Christ, or gold, Jordan, word, Lord, oil, or ointment. Baptize is from Greek, bapto, the effect of two chemicals when they unite and produce force that neither possess singly. Here the seed immersed in the oil, John, was so increased in power that the Spirit of God descended like a dove, and voice of heaven said, This is my beloved Son. Jordan means the descender, dove, to, di to dive, a, divir a, a diver which is my daughter's name. Pretty cool. Thus, Jesus, the seed, was the son of man, the carpenter or builder, until it was baptized in the precious ointment that was secreted from the most high brain and descended the spinal cord and was thus given power to start on its own journey to Jerusalem, God's city of peace, and to, the crucify, and to be crucified at place of skull. Then remain two and one half days in the tomb and on the third day ascend to the Father. As the seed consumes its force every 28 and one half days and another born first comes out of the solar plexus Bethlehem. We see why he was, is a sacrifice for our sins. Because if you, if you sin, you kill the seed of Jesus that wants to be crucified in the optic thalamus and become Christ consciousness, which I've experienced. So I'm speaking from experience here. So I hope you guys take this very seriously because anybody can do this. You just have to know, you know what I'm telling you right here. So I don't want to get off track. Also, we see that as the seed taking on the Christ oil is enabled to reach the pineal gland and cause it to vibrate at a rate that heals all manner of diseases, that the statement, the blood of Christ cleaneth from all sin or deficiencies, falls short of substance. Part three, during the first 300 years of the Christian era, all that has been above written was understood by the real Christians. And about the end of that time, the persecu persecution of these Essenes by the priesthood became so marked that they met in secret and always made the sign of the fish. About the year 325, Constantine, the pagan Roman emperor, a monster in human form like Nero, <clears throat> and the Beast of August 1914 called the de degenerate teachers of Christianity together at Nicaea. Constantine murdered his mother and boiled his wife in oil because they still held to the original doctrines of the Essenes. Constantine was told by priests of his time that there was no forgiveness for his crimes such as his, for crimes such as his except through a long series of incarnations. But the Antichrist sought to concoct a plan to which he hoped to cheat the cosmic law. And so it came to pass. After months of wrangling and fighting over the writings of the primitive Christians who clothed the wonders of the human body in oriental imagery, the council, sometimes by a bare majority vote, decided which of the manuscripts were the word of God and which were not. The very important point in the minds of those ignorant priests, whether or no angel had wings, was decided in favor of wings by three majority. The minority contended that as Jacob let down the ladder for angels to descend and ascend upon it was prima facie evidence that angels do not have wings. Just think for a moment upon the colossal ignorance of these priests who did not know that Jacob in Hebrew means, means heel catcher or circle, and the latter referred to the influence of the signs of the zodiac upon the earth. And as one sign rising every two hours from a circle every 24 hours, the four and 20 elders of revolution, the outer stars or sun or sons of the of catching on to the last sun or sons of the sign ascending. We, but now we come to the Antichrist. The Council of Nicaea, dominated by Constantine, voted that the symbols of the human body were persons, that Jesus was a certain historical man 
a contention utterly and indubitably, indubitably without foundation. In fact, and all that believed, question mark, the story would be saved and forgiven here and now. The idea appealed to the monster Constantine as an easy way out of his troubled mind. And so the scheme of salvation by the actual blood of a real man or God was encrafted in the world. Constantine and his dupes saw that the only way to perpetuate the infamy, perper, perpetuate, my bad, the infamy was to keep the world in ignorance of the operation of the cosmic law. So they changed times and seasons. The date that they made, real quick, the first day of the year is actually March 21st. It's not... We have backwards, but so Constantine and his dupes saw that the only way to perpetuate the infamy was to keep the world in ignorance of the operation of the cosmic law. So they changed times and seasons. The date that they made the sun enter Aries was March 21st. Why? March 21st should be the first day of Aries, the head. April 19th should be the first day of Taurus, the neck, and so on through the 12 signs. But these designing schemers knew that the, by suppressing the, the truth that people might come to realize what was meant by the heavens declare the glory of God. Again, the moon in its monthly round of 28 and one half days enters the outer stars or suns of a constellation two and a half days before it enters the central suns of the constellations that are known as the signs of the zodiac or the circle of beasts. And he is referring, for referring to perception, procession, procession of the equinoxes. And it was, it's a little more than that now. Um, but even unto this day, the whole antichrist Christian world, so-called Christian, Except the astrologers go by the alm almanacs that make the moon enter a sign of the zodiac two and one half days before it does enter it, and thus perpetuate the lie of the pagan Constantine, the Antichrist. Meaning that they, back then, if you weren't an astrologer, and even if you had the sacred knowledge, you, your timing would be off and you couldn't experience these higher states of consciousness. It says, let me close with a deadly par parallel. Antichrist. Christ was born a man of a woman. He died and he will come again. We are Christians and we expect to die and then be saved. Christ is greater than man, therefore can save us. Only Jesus was, was conceived by the Holy Ghost. We must die in order to get into the kingdom. The earth will be destroyed. I am a Christian. I am born of God because I believe or think that a crucified saint or good man will save me from sin. Now the actual Christ, which is within us. Lo, I am with you always. He that believeth, believe means to do, shall never die. The wages of sin is death. All that I do, ye can do because we are the son of God, just like Jesus, you know, just like the man Jesus, who is an ascended master and should be respected and admired and learned from, but never worshiped because we're the same. <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven is within you. The earth endureth forever. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. These signs shall follow those who believe in me. Thy shall lay hands on the sick and thy shall recover. He that is born of God will not sin for his seed remaineth in him. Because to... Sin is to kill the seed, and that's the whole point. For more evidence that Jesus and Christ are in your flesh, see First Apostle of John, 4th chapter, 2nd and 3rd verses. The Greek and Hebrew text of our scriptures plainly teach that Jesus and Christ, John and baptism, crucif crucifixion and ascension, the triumph of the ego over the enemy death, are in the substance and potentialities of the body, and that these fluids can and will save the physical body if conserved and not consumed or wasted in sexual or animal desire. All of whatever name or religious denomination who teach a contrary doctrine agree with Constantine who appeared in the latter days of the pure Christian practice. Who is the Antichrist? Question mark. Look at a world of ruins. Does a good tree bring forth fruit, evil fruit? F, no. But look at our world because we've all been duped. You know? <clears throat> the so-called teachers of and believers in Christianity believe as Constantine and his priests that Christ is out in the desert of the Judean hills, out on Calvary. Do they ever look for the meaning of Calvary in Greek? Calvary means a skull and Golgotha, the place of the skull, exactly where the seed is crucified. One half of the combatants in the world, Armageddon, have been praying as Constantine prayed for God's help for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake, he said, like he's pissed, you know what I mean? Which I get it. The other half pray to the same imaginary God and Christ out in the desert or their own ignorance for peace and victory. Return and come unto God and Christ within you. O oh, ye deluded ones and the boat and the bugles will, the bugles will all sing true along the iron front war and the ransom of the Lord will return to Zion. The songs and everlasting joy upon the faces. And the most important thing about this information is not only that you get this wonderful spiritual experience and you learn who you truly are, but it also heals your body if you're sick. You know, one thing I've been reluctant to speak on, but I, I feel like I should just so you guys understand how powerful this is. 
You know, my kid's mom, Anna, second kid's mom, she died uh, in July 2022. She died with hep C. She had hepatitis C for like 10 years. And back, long story short, and I'm, I'm, I don't like talking about this, but I want you to understand how powerful this information is. She would shoot me up with her dirty needles all the time. We had unprotected sex forever. And when I got tested last year, I'm completely clean with not, I am like, I have a clean bill of health and it's like, how? And this is how, you know? So this is so powerful. This is the answer to everything. You know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned, not damn near everything. You know, so many of our problems in the world will get resolved when people, you know, get the truth. That's why this is so important. So hopefully y'all learn from it. All right, much love. Peace out.